Hi everyone, welcome to Placement Grid. I'm sure many of you MBA aspirants would like to get an admit from the best B schools in the world, Stanford, MIT, Wharton, Harvard, Columbia, etc. But did you know that most of these B schools two year MBA program costs in tunes of $200,000, which is around 1.5 crore rupees. Stanford is leading the pack with the highest fee among US B schools. Now if you're this guy, then you do not have to worry about the fee. But if you're the other guy or you want to do an MBA from Stanford but save yourself from that huge MBA fee, then keep watching this video. Today we are in conversation with Abang Mahindle who will cover Stanford Reliance Dhirubhai Fellowship. He's one of the top 50 fellows of this scholarship from this year and will talk about the whole process, the do's and don'ts on how to secure this scholarship. Let's start this conversation. Cheers. So hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about uh, Stanford Dhirubhai Ammani Fellowship. Uh, for Stanford MBA. So what is this Stanford, uh, what is this fellowship about? So it is for uh, Stanford GSB's MBA program only and uh, uh, which which costs around uh, 1.8 crores for a single person and uh, like around 2, 2.1 crores for a, ma- a married person who will have to go with his spouse uh, with the, for the MBA program. So um, what this this uh, Stanford MBA program costs a lot of money for sure and uh, like uh, in USD it's around uh, for a single person it's around two forty thousand dollars and uh, for a married person who will have to take his spouse as well to US uh, it, it costs around two eighty thousand um, dollars. So what this scholarship does is it covers eighty percent of your expenses and uh, it can be like tuition fees, living allowance, books, and medical fees like you know and materials and program fees and. Uh, uh, insurance, health info, and health insurance, and all that stuff as well. So, uh, th- this fellowship covers 80% of your total, uh, all these expenses that I mentioned. And uh, h- how many people are selected for this scholarship? So, uh, on the first round of the fe- uh, fellowship, around 50 people from, uh, like 50 people are selected all across uh, India. And uh, those, that that is the completion of round one. And uh, round two is out of those 50. Uh, like how many of them will make it to stand but so say in the first round uh, definitely 50 people are selected for the fellowship uh, second round will be actual uh, MBA app process for Stanford GSB and in that suppose say 10 people make it to uh, the MBA program only three will be two to three people on an average are uh, given this fellowship so those two are the rounds for this fellowship you can say and uh, both, both the rounds are taken care by Stanford Admissions Committee only and there is nowhere that Reliance plays any role in this process. And after you get this fellowship, um, you you get, you have to work like after four years of completing the MBA, sh- you should have worked for two years at least in an Indian firm working in India. Uh, not exactly an Indian firm but uh, it can be a multinational as well but it should have a like, large presence in India. And uh, that is what this is about because the main aim of this fellowship is uh, you know to, uh, uh, to shape the India's future so basically uh, these uh, fellows are uh, meant to change India after they complete their MBA so this is why uh, the constraint is like that and uh, how how to get in the 50 people uh, for that so first of all they look for the potential that you, that you have like once you have the MBA degree and uh, like, uh, will you be needing the financial support uh, for doing an MBA in, uh, in Stanford? And because uh, if you if you can pay uh, for the Stanford MBA yourself, like they, you will not be eligible for the fellowship. So they do take like you know a- annual family income and all that uh, information for that. And uh, coming to the potential point, like uh, you do not really need to have a star background per se. Like uh, you, you do not have to have like you know be an entrepreneur and have a successful business or you know have uh, won the presidential awards or something like uh, like i was just a fresher out of uh, college and uh, when i applied for this fellowship i had no work experience and uh, still i got in that 50 pool and uh, I, I was just like a normal person who still got it so you do not really need to be from iits or anything of that sort to get into this so uh, since only three people will actually, two to three people will actually get the fellowship after getting into the MBA. So what are, what are the benefits of getting into the pool of 50? So there are two benefits uh, of getting into the pool of 50. One is if you want to attempt GRE or GMAT again, or uh, or you haven't ever attempted GRE or GMAT, you get a coupon code to do so, uh, which will be free of cost for you. 
and uh, which like you know which will save you around 15 to 20k based on what you want the like gre or gmat and second benefit is that you do not really need to pay a, a stanford application fees which is itself around 275 dollars uh, in indian terms it is 20000 rupees around around that so that also saves a lot of money for you so um when you get into the pool of 50 you you have certain benefits um, and also like uh, for the pool of 50 um when you are applying for an mba they do keep in mind that you are out of the pool of 50 and uh, you are a, a finalist of the lands through by a money fellowship so that is one thing as well that benefits you so one of the major aspect of uh, getting selected uh, is you know filling the form and uh, what are the major parts of the form uh, so majorly the form consists of a lot of questionnaire a very comprehensive questionnaire about you and uh, secondly an essay so we'll talk about the essay at the later stage and let's talk about uh, how to fill the form so the form has uh, multiple sections uh, which la- ask you about your background and uh, very importantly your financial information as to your annual family income what's your income and then about your uh, you know uh, your educational background and if you have any test scores or anything that you w- would like to uh, you know highlight in the form and uh, you know your professional information if you have an experience so uh, all that information how many places you have worked at and what have you what what were your roles and stuff and another important thing is the resume so you have to fill in uh, you know you have to attach in resume with your application as well uh, so what 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 format should you follow so there is no specific format mentioned for for filling out the uh, the the resume uh, but i would suggest that there is a uh, resume format provided on the gsb website uh, stanford gsb website so you can use that sample as well personally i did not use that uh, template i i used uh, a resume that i had made in my undergrad uh, so that also works you can use any uh, any format that you feel like so apart from that um yeah uh, your career aspirations is one part uh, that, that they ask you about as well so the questionnaire will also ask you like what you want to do in the future what kind of role uh, and what what kind of industry would you lo- like to work in so that that will also be asked in the form so uh, after filling out all this um, uh, you know you have to keep in mind that uh, you know to judge you uh they uh, you know they they use everything uh, like you know essay is one major part that is for sure but uh, all the lines and all the answers that you have written uh, in other questions as well uh, will be used uh, so you you make sure that it's very thorough and uh, it is very honest about you so that that will help a lot um, once you are filling out the form so uh, after filling this very comprehensive form and you know attaching the uh, resume as well so now we are left with uh, you know writing the essay Yeah now let us talk about the essay which is another important aspect of your application and the prompt is usually like how do you change uh, how do you aspire to change india's future and the word limit is around 250 words uh with 250 words is pretty small uh, you know to really uh, give out like how do you really want to change india's future but that is where the trick is like uh, you need to structure your essay such that you you really reflect on what you really believe so um you know usually it can be around 2 to 3 paragraphs or uh, it may maybe even shorter than that so you know like uh, make sure that your passions are truly reflected uh, on the essay and uh, you you can include like what you have done in the past and like how you aspire to change uh, you know india's future once you have a stanford mba degree as well so this is uh, something you need to take care of like that uh, you know you make it really really crisp and uh, uh, you know an enjoyable read as well and uh, one thing we get asked a lot is uh, do you require like a consultant so personally i did not hire any consultant for writing this answer and uh, you don't really need one like uh, you should approach this question really really honestly and uh, you know uh, make sure that your true passions are reflected on the essay as well so that will be enough for you to get selected in the 50 is what i believe stanford people have a really ex- great experience at uh, you know going through a lot of applications so they will catch you for sure so it's better not to hire a consultant and do it and once you get selected you will be notified that you are selected and uh, they they'll give you a further date like uh, probably it's, it's usually a uh, one month after the uh, like one month after you get the notify notification that you are selected 
and uh, there is there is a seminar uh, like you know in mumbai usually so if you're not in the mumbai then they they fly you by to mumbai and uh, the seminar is usually on the topic how to approach the application further and how to uh, fill out the round two that is the stanford application itself so they'll guide you through it uh, the stanford's uh, admissions officers will come down to mumbai and uh, they tell themselves tell you how to approach the form further one uh, major one major thing that you will get to is network with other 49 folks that have been selected and uh, they'll be amazing people uh, like you know the best lot uh, like from across india so like for me like i met like entrepreneurs like who had really successful businesses from like 3 to 4 years or even more and like very diverse people they were there was a air force pilot and uh, there were doctors and uh, lawyers and everything you can imagine uh, that kind of people you get to network to you get inspired and you inspire some people as well so it's it's really a nice experience to go for the seminar as well so this is another takeaway from the seminar and uh, yeah that's about it and uh, yeah all the best uh, all the best for that thank you for watching for more such informative videos do subscribe to placement grid cheers